Hello, it's Maxi Moyer, and welcome to this week's playlist, Sound of the Underground, Mind the Gap. When creating a playlist, I look for interesting subjects on which to hang an entertaining mix of music. Subjects must be known to listeners or otherwise engaging. I've often thought the London Underground map and all that it brings to mind would be a good choice. People across the UK and others living thousands of miles away easily recognise the underground graphic with its brightly coloured network of distinctively named lines. The initial section of the underground system, the Metropolitan Line, ran just four miles between Paddington Station and Farringdon in the borough of Islington. Opening in 1863, it was the first underground passenger rail service in the world. 30,000 travellers soon tried out the ride, including Prime Minister William Gladstone. They sat on simple bench seating in uncovered wagons with ears and noses open to all the noise and tunnel air. Maps of the London Underground came and went as the network developed. Invariably, they tried to show routes and stations in relation to the actual layout of the city. Because of the very large area involved, the winding routes and variations in distance between stations, these maps were difficult to read. In 1933, the direct forerunner of the tube map we know today was published. Its designer, Harry Beck, was an engineering draftsman made redundant in the late 1920s by the company then running London's Underground. By this time, the Metropolitan had been joined by an array of other lines. Personal experience of riding the underground is influenced by initial sights. The longest and steepest escalators gliding past ever-changing streams of eye-level adverts. The collective expectancy of silent crowds waiting for arrivals under pixelated announcement boards. Rushing walls of burnt air and squealing wheels on polished tracks as trains arrive. The pneumatic hiss and clunk of automatic doors. Uncanny surprise at recorded announcements for destinations and minding the gap. Constant light into the distance regardless of night or day. If, like me, you have travelled far and wide on the London Underground, just the names of tube lines in the playlist will evoke that experience. Unnoticed, the underground map changed my perception of the city and its accessibility to neat curves, lines and diagonals between my pop-up destinations of choice. If you have yet to take the ride, then I hope you enjoy the music nonetheless. Enjoy.